Hello again, my name is Rodney Reynolds and welcome to another video review. Today we'll be looking at the Promise SX4000 RAID controller. What is included in this package are four ATA-133 cables and each of these cables are actually single. They go right from the card to the hard drive. Also included are two Y cable power splitters, the manual, software and the RAID controller. This card is a lot larger than most RAID controllers and that is because of this memory slot right here. You can put up to 256 megabytes of SD RAM onto this RAID controller. You do need a minimum of 64 megabytes on this controller in order to get it to work. Right here are the ATA channel connectors. You have four of these and right here is a speaker to indicate any kind of errors. RAID stands for Redundant Array of Independent Discs and this controller does do a number of different RAID setups. RAID 0, RAID 1, RAID 0 plus 1 as well as RAID 5 and JBOD. Now JBOD stands for just a bunch of discs and if you have for instance 100 megabytes times 4 drives you're going to get all of the data no kind of backup or no kind of performance it's just a bunch of disks all crammed together to give you every last ounce of space out of that complete array now let me just go back to all the different RAID setups there are again I'll go through the first one being RAID 0 which is referred to as stripping when the disk array is stripped the read and write blocks of data are interleaved between the sectors of multiple drives. Performance is increased since the workload is balanced between the drives that form the array. This is the fastest type of array. However, if you lose one drive in the array, you will lose the complete array. If you want backup, you can refer to RAID 1. Now what RAID 1 does is mirroring and when a disk is mirrored the identical data is written to a pair of drives while reads are performed in parallel the reads are performed using an elevator seek and load balancing technique where the workload is distributed in the most effective manner this is really what you want if you want to be secure and if you lose data on one drive you can just swap out a drive put a good drive back in the array and you're okay if you want the best of both worlds then you can go RAID 0 plus 1 and what that is is stripping slash mirroring and that of course combines RAID 0 and RAID 1 all together and it increases performance by reading and writing data in parallel while protecting data with duplication now one thing that's very important to note here you need at least four hard drives to get RAID 0 plus 1 to work However, if you want backup, security, and performance all in one, RAID 0 plus 1 might be an option for you. And lastly, RAID 5, which is block and parity stripping. And RAID 5 is really similar in a way to RAID 0 plus 1, except the parity data is distributed across the physical drives along with the data blocks. And in each case, the parity data is stored on a different disk than its corresponding block data. RAID 5 is really great and versatile for file, database, application, and web servers. How does this, in essence, differ from the RAID 0 plus 1? Well, really, all the technical jargon aside, RAID 0 plus 1, for example, if you have four 100 gigabyte drives, you will only get 200 gigabytes of storage from 400 gigabytes to start with that's because of the duplication with the RAID 5 you'll get 300 instead of the 200 so in some applications RAID 5 might be much better the first thing to do is install memory remember SD RAM has to be installed in this you can't install DDR memory just pop in at least 64 megabytes into the slot very easy to do and once that's done just pop it into a PCI slot then connect the cables from the controller to your hard drive and whatever type of array you want 
and pretty much you're finished. Now remember, to enter this particular car, you need to press Control F when the system boots up. I'm going to be doing some tests now on a RAID 0 configuration. And the SI Software Center result is 57,456. Whether you're using this in a server environment or in a personal home computer system, it's going to give you performance at a great price. Overall, this is a kick-ass product. Again, my name is Rodney Reynolds, and this has been another video review. Be sure to check back very soon. I will have a brand new one for you then. Also, be sure to pop into my website at www.3dgameman.com. And while you're there, you can go in and register. Registration in the forums is completely free. Until the next time, take care.